it's, it's just it's a huge puzzle of why you would escalate to that point. Even by Facebook Marketplace scams, this is a weird one. An Allen Park couple found a buyer on the marketplace for their gold Jeep Liberty, meeting at their house Sunday. The buyer turned suspect, checked out the title, took it for a test drive, came back, handed over the money, but was $100 short. Then out of nowhere, pointed the gun at her and demanded the car and he took the title to the car as well. And he drove off in the car and he took his money back too. Allen Park Police put out an alert to area police departments. The gold Jeep spotted at a River Rouge dollar store. Security cameras catching the man on camera. When police tried to pull him over, he sped off in the stolen ride, leading them on a chase to Detroit, ditching the SUV in an alley and ran off. Then a break in the case. Come to find out the victim wasn't actually an artist and she was able to sketch the guy that pulled the gun and put the gun in her face. Matches exactly to the person she sketched right down to the uh, bead in his hair. Using the victim's sketch to cross-reference with surveillance images, they got a match, now they need a name, turning back to Facebook for the public's help. Easiest thing in the world is sell something on Facebook Marketplace. We all do it, um, it's because it's simple, it's easy. But we always discourage people from doing things at their house in the event something criminal happens. Detective Jim Thorburn says choose a police department instead, even over a shopping center. Sometimes they don't have outside cameras to catch a crime if it happens. If you advise somebody, hey, I'd like to meet you at the police parking lot, it's going to wash away a lot of people that are going to probably scam you. You heard the detective. They are still looking for this guy. Take another look. Just head to this story on our website. If you know him, call Allen Park Police. Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News.